Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca Automation. We have been talking about the execution list. So let's talk about how we can change the view of the default execution lists. So when we are looking at an execution list folder, it displays a certain view, right? So there are certain columns which are displayed. I can always add more columns by going to column chooser and then add more columns to this particular view or I can even remove some of the columns right but apart from this you can also change the default view which means you can change the details which are displayed on this particular view and then you can add more details or change the whole uh, structure of how the results are displayed on the execution list to do that you need to go to the view tab and under the view tab you will find the execution list now if you click on the drop down you will see there are a few options which are already selected okay and these are the default options which are enabled when you open an execution list now there are few other options so let's go through each of the option and let's see what it does or how it changes the view of the execution list so if i uh, enable this show only last actual log you will see it will reduce the number of actual logs it will only show you the last actual log which means the actual log which was generated after you executed it uh, and it is only for the last time okay then uh, you can also enable multi-line logs so currently you can see in the log info it is only displaying a one liner right for your executions either it is passed or failed now if i enable this multi-line logs you will see it will show more details here in a multi-line format okay and this could be useful to debug your execution failures then the show statistics only on visible execution lists right so the stats will only be shown for the visible execution list now if i disable this you will see a lot of stats are gone from the view right so let's keep it enabled also this show statistics logarithmically previously you could see these were extended for the whole uh, column but now you can see these are reduced okay then uh, show statistics if i disable this you will see all the details are suppressed right so no bars are displayed um, and it doesn't tell you whether the test case has passed and how much it has passed how much it has failed right so you can always enable this show statistics and it will show you these details here then uh, you can also enable the show failed logs only okay so here you will see that it will show the logs for your failed test cases and then if you want to change the format of this duration currently it is uh, displaying it in a hour and minute and seconds format right uh, we can change it to show only in duration of seconds so here you will see the duration is now being shown in seconds okay so that could be useful uh, for tracking how much time it took to execute a particular step or test case so as you can see there are lots of different options available uh, in the view tab for execution list and you can take uh, advantage of that to change the view of your execution list a little bit to maybe include more details or to exclude details which are not required that's all for this particular video if you have any questions then please leave it in the comments if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.